It's all still to play for in the playoff race. And Sunderland are still well in the conversation. A run of one win in nine may have suggested the Black Cats were running out of steam. But a 1-0 victory at Cardiff on Easter Monday could prove invaluable. Tony Mowbray's young and vibrant team are four points off the top six with just five games remaining. Patrick Roberts is restored back to the lineup. We'll hope to add a little bit more stardust from his wide position. Ahmad Diallo retains his place. The Aldo Manchester United youngster has been outstanding for them this season, netting in the goals. Birmingham, meanwhile, find themselves in more familiar territory. They've finished between 17th and 20th in each of the past six seasons and are currently 17th on the table. Last time Sunderland managed to do the double over Birmingham, only back in the 95-96 season. They did grab a 2-1 win in the first half of the campaign. And looking to make a quick start here. Roberts. Here's Diallo. Gooch is steaming forward. Gooch pulls it back. And the finish can't be applied. Pritchard, the closest man to it. Nice little layoff from Diallo. And it was actually blocked. Gooch got it across. John. It's not a great challenge. And Dennis Serkin is complaining. I'm not really sure the Sunderland left back has much to complain about. And as you can see, clearly a mistimed challenge. Long ball from Long. Here's George Hall. Chong. Birmingham's danger man. Chong shoots! And Patterson couldn't gather it. Clark has gone up. And here's a real live wire Tahit Chong. And he nearly caught Patterson out at his near post. Heavy touch from Pritchard. Bakuna rides one challenge. Chong onto his left foot. Hall must finish. George Hall does finish. The 18 year old grabs just his second goal for his boyhood club. Tony Mowbray livid. Probably with his own defence more than anything. Great awareness from Chong. He saw Hall in acres of space. It's almost like a five-a-side finish. It's so, so straightforward. It's a cheap goal for Sunderland to concede. But a wonderful moment for Hall. Only his second senior goal. Birmingham can sense survival now. Clark. Pritchard. That's it roll for Diallo. Huge looping deflection. That leads to a corner. lot to think about at half time high one from Pritchard Bart heads down Roberts nods on and there is Trey Hume a timely equaliser for Sunderland on the stroke of half time it's a first goal in English football for Trey Hume a man being asked to play out of position in a patched up defence. He was there, right place, right time. Easy finish. Now John Eustace has the thinking to do. Last 
time Birmingham won here, August 2006. Just before Roy Keane took over and guided Sunderland to promotion. Great run from Chong, pulls it back for Bellingham. And if you thought producing one Bellingham was enough, they've got another one in their ranks. Joby couldn't apply the finish. Gave Patterson something to think about, though. Headed on by Trusty. Given away. Roberts, so good at driving forward. Back from Gelhart, this is Patrick Roberts! And that is a shocker. I think he bemoaned the state of the pitch then. That one touch, maybe the ball skipped up off the turf. No real excuses though, he should be scoring that player of his ability. But needs to be careful. Jukovic robs him. Lukas Jukovic. Parry to Bellingham. Kadra. Cleared. I think Jukovic wanted. Just a little bit more support, a bit more quickly. Three of them were across to him. Made it very difficult. Clark. It's a brilliant pick out. Here's Ahmad Diallo. On his stronger left foot. Diallo goes for goal! It's all turned around. A dozen goals in the red and white stripes for Sunderland for Ahmad Diallo. Whatever you do, don't show him onto his left foot. Cardinal sin from Birmingham. He has got a bright future ahead of him. Right in the corner. Diallo. Picked up now by Bakuna. Chong to run at Sirkin. Whistle goes. And Sirkin obstructed Chong. And the referee now has no option. It's an early bath for Dennis Sirkin. And Sunderland have to hold on with 10. Even though the claret's pouring from his nose. It's a bit of a strange one, really. Sirkin does clearly block Chong. It's the red card, literally adding insult to injury. A huge win for Sunderland and for Tony Mowbray. Write them off at your peril. They were successful through the League One playoffs last season and they're hoping for a similar result. Trey Hume got the equalising goal. And Ahmad Diallo with his 12th of the season getting the winner. More frustration for Birmingham, not quite safe in the Championship. But they're not far off. Sunderland only a point off the playoffs. It's finished. Sunderland two. Birmingham one.